Ariel Hawani in Las Vegas, Nevada with the president of the UFC's UK division, Mr. Marshall Zelaznik. Marshall, good to see you again. Last time we saw you was in Abu Dhabi. A lot has happened since then, but I got to ask you, or I got to give you maybe the compliment. You know you've made it when someone is being referred to as the Canadian Marshall Zelaznik. Is that really happening? Yes. Oh, that's fascinating. I you know who to, I'm referring to? I do, yeah, Tom. But um, I was originally referred to as the UK Dana White, which I had to argue because I had too much hair. But <laughs> um, really, that's, uh, that's uh, I guess I'm flattered in some way. See how that works, right? Yes. You know, Dana, Marshall, Tom, it's like a little domino effect. And then when we open our office in China, there'll be the Chinese Tom Wright. Exactly. <laughs> I like the way you're thinking right there. Okay, so uh, a lot of developments happening. Of course, you don't only oversee the UK division. It's more of a global sort of, um, you know, your hands is more on the global footprint of the MMA, excuse me, of the UFC, Australia, Abu Dhabi, of course. But we've heard a rumor, UFC 120 um, in London. Can you confirm or deny this? Yeah, that's happening. Um, we haven't announced the date yet, but that's going to happen. It'll be October 16. Um, hopefully in the next couple of weeks, we'll have tickets on sale. The fight card's still being finalized. Um, we expect Dan to be on that fight, on that card. Dan Bar Hardy. Dan Hardy, uh, Bisping will be on that card. Um, in fact, you know, a couple of the fights this weekend, you know, at 116 may have some impact on who actually fights at uh, 120. Now, for us uh, American viewers, American fans, um, we've heard that this fight card will air on Spike TV, as did um, some, you know, the most recent one in November, the one that happened in UK, uh, you know, with Bisping on the card, Mike Swick, all those guys. That's correct, right? That's right. Yes, it'll be on Spike here in the U.S., and it'll be everywhere else in the world that we are, which I think is 140 countries now, we're saying. Wow, that's pretty big. It's big. It's really big. It's. Uh, I think when I started, first when I started, I was employee number 38, and I think we may have been in about 45 countries with television, and now it's 140, 142, something like that. So Dana oversees North America. You oversee the rest, right? The 139 other countries? Yeah, that's a little bold. Yeah. No, I think um, Dana and Lorenzo oversee right. the world, and we all you know, help out where we can. So, um, But I'm lucky enough to work in the international space with them. Now, um, Dana actually, uh, after the last UFC event, said that there was going to be a UK fan expo, um, a European one, the first one overseas. Will that be surrounding 120? Yeah, that's the plan. Where we've got uh, meetings going on now to try and figure out how to manage that. Um, we have a pretty small staff in the UK, and everyone's being pressed. We have so many events, as you know, coming up. So um, we expect that to happen. We have a really good partner in the Reed Expo group. They'll be the same group there. We're looking at locations and hotels and guest fighters. It'll be um, just as big as any other fan expo, as big as the Boston one for sure. Earlier today, Dan Hardy uh, took part in a Q&A session. People asked him, is he fighting Carlos Condit? He said he could not confirm those rumors. Can you? Look, you know, the rumor mill is usually pretty accurate. That's all I'll say, okay. you know, but for us, we don't usually announce anything until it's signed. So um, I'm not aware of that fight being signed. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, those rumors, you know, usually have a little bit of life. <laughs> Speaking of rumors, there's a rumor that the UFC will be returning to Germany in November. Can you comment on this? Uh, yes, I'm living that day in and day out. I just got back from Berlin. Uh, we are trying to get that event put together. We've got all of our approvals in place. Uh, as you know, you know, we're off TV currently there, so we're working on another strategy to deal with that. But yeah, we have big plans in Germany and we're not going to slow down. What is the status of that situation? Uh, UFC on television, German television, will it be returning soon? I don't know about soon. This is, we're in the middle of a lawsuit uh, against their equivalent of the FCC. Um, we actually prevailed in the initial stage and then that was overturned on appeal. We just had a recent decision that came out where we were not the prevailing party, so now it's being appealed one more level. There are probably two or three different appeals left before that thing is resolved, and it's probably, at least as it relates to the their equivalent of the FCC, probably the end of the year before we know what will happen there. But in the meantime, because it's a regional issue, it's not a whole country issue, um, we still have the opportunity to find television networks in other parts of Germany and other states. This is the state of Bavaria, which is where our network broadcasts out of. You know, I got to say to you, uh, the, one of the most frequent questions I, I am asked is, when is the UFC returning to Ireland? Uh, you guys seem to have a lot of fans in Ireland. People ask me this all the time. Can you ask Dana? Can you ask Marshall? When is the UFC returning to Ireland? I'll give you the form here. When is the UFC returning to Ireland? Look, you know, I think when we left, we thought we'd be back every St. Paddy's Day was sort of the concept and still something we'd love to do. I was just in an executive meeting a couple of weeks ago with Dana and we were talking about our schedule and I said, Dana, you said we're going to be in Ireland, but I don't see it's going to happen at the end of this year. And he said, it's not. So we all want to be back there. I don't have a date set. I, we have dates. I think I'm holding four different dates in the first quarter of next year. 
Um, my hope is that the March date will work for us, but if it doesn't, we're going to be back. Our fans are important uh, there, and we've got good TV partners there. Um, THQ does great there, so it's, it's important for us to be back there. I don't mean to play geography with you here, but there are two other places that people ask us about. Australia, you obviously made your debut in Australia, UFC 110, and Abu Dhabi. Are you returning to those markets in 2011? We expect to be, yeah. I mean, Australia, we were holding dates in effectively the same time period as the, um, this year. And Abu Dhabi, we're looking at again for April. But so much happens between now and then. You know, I, this thing is very organic. You've heard me say that before. It's um, We don't have the luxuries of some of the other um, promotions necessarily out there or certainly the way WWE manages their business. You know, we are constantly in flux, constantly looking at what are the best options. But as we pencil things out, those events are certainly on our plan. Okay, final question. Um, obviously, you guys are breaking barriers every you know every year. It seems you, know, you make debuts in new markets. Um, Twenty eleven. Is there one that you can maybe tell us that you know you're, you're pointing at that? Will uh, will be the you know the new market for the UFC. Well, that's one of my goals. Is I always talk to Dan and Lorenzo. Is we ought to be in a new country or territory every year. And so, um, continental Europe is certainly a big one for us. We think Benelux could you know be an event soon there. Um, we're just launched on Ital in Italy, so potentially there. Um, I'm traveling down to Brazil uh, coming up to start scoping out that. We're looking at Mexico. Um, so of those four, I think I just mentioned, wow. I would bet one of those could uh, be an event next year. All right, we look forward to it. Of course, first off, UFC 120. Sort of confirmed it. Yes, maybe no, no, yes, yes, looks like it. Let's be honest. Looks like it's going to happen. Spike TV here in the United States, of course, live uh, over in Europe. We appreciate the time, as always, Marshall. Thank you. And uh, good seeing you at the Yuri Foreman fight. Yeah, I know definitely. you were ignoring me, by the way. I was trying to wave you, but I was up in the cheap seats, and you, you couldn't talk to me. Yeah, I don't look back up yeah. there. <laughs> All right, thanks.